right, you guys, here's the honey content you've been asking for. I recently made honey quick sew 4275. It looks like it's out of print now, but my Joanne had a bunch of these old quick sew patterns in their drawers still. And of course, you can find it on sites like Etsy and eBay. This pattern comes with cuffs, collar, and two different versions of dresses in size extra small to extra large. I made honey, you see, and omitted the ruffle trim. I was a little bit on the fence about sizing, but I figured with the Velcro closures, it would make it somewhat adjustable, so I went for the extra small, and it's actually perfect for her. For reference, she has a 7-inch neck girth and a 12-inch chest girth. I got the main fabric from Joanne. They have so many cute bee fabrics right now. The blue accent fabric was actually a scrap left over from a project I made for Sunny. So this dress has a piece of him in it too, which of course I love. The construction was pretty straightforward, but there was way too much hand sewing for a dog dress, in my opinion. Thankfully, I was able to apply some of my human garment making skills to sew the entire thing on my sewing machine. If I made it again, I would also reduce the size of the bows, probably by half. I mean, I love a bow, but these are just a little bit too big for her small frame. The bow is the same size, size for all sizes, FYI. So if you're making the extra large, you might even want to make the bow a little bit bigger. Um, I do think this pattern is a great sort of like jumping off point sloper, if you will, uh, for honey. And I can imagine all sorts of hacks to create different looks, like swapping out the pleated skirt for a gathered one removing the bows, um, adding different trims, you know, all of that kind of stuff. So be sure to stay tuned for that. But that is going to do it for me and Honey today in her very first pattern review. <laughs> Let me know what you think of her cute little dress. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very soon. Bye!